Slaying that jank. Thank you in advance for checking out my video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate it if you like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to help support this channel. Do it. Thanks again. Hey guys, Trent here, coming at you with another deck. So War of the Spark is coming up soon, so we don't want to spend our rares and mythics, we want to save them up for a new set. So why not play with a deck that doesn't have any rares in it? A deck that can be blistering fast and just kill your opponent out of nowhere and is a lot of fun to play. So the deck I've got for you today is Goblin Calamity. Alright, so here's the deck. Goblin Calamity, all uncommons and commons, and Ravnica Allegiant Standard. We got 40 spells and 20 lands. So this is a very, very low to the ground aggro deck that relies on Cavalcade of Calamity and Flame of Keld to double damage on our little puny one-drop creatures. And uh, stuff like uh, Skewer the Critics and Light Up the Stage to uh, get card advantage and powerful burn spells to close out the game with. So since Cavalcade of Calamity, of course, is the centerpiece of the deck, we have nothing but one, uh, one power creatures, and most of them are uh, one mana creatures. So starting out with our one drops, we got a playset of Fanatical Firebrands, which is one of the most premier one drops in the format right now anyways. It's featured in Mono Red Burn, of course, but it's great in our deck as well. It's a 1-1 Haster, it is a Goblin, and it can do direct damage. Then we got a couple of Skirk Prospectors. This is a pretty good utility card. Of course, it's a 1-1 creature and a Goblin. So we do have the ability to sack all creatures, but two of them in our deck to make mana if we need to. But one other benefit to Skirk Prospector is the prevention of life link, uh, life gain from our opponent. So we can sack creatures in response to them gaining life. Let's say the one that they blocked with a life link creature, we can prevent them from getting life that way, and it can really matter in a deck like this. Got a playset of 10 Street Dodger, which I think is an all star in this deck. Just being able to make him unblockable, you know, a lot of times you won't feel comfortable swinging in with your team because you're going to lose a couple goblins. Uh, maybe you don't have Goblin Calamity going yet or you're waiting for a bigger swing. 10 Street Dodger lets you chip in for one or two damage if you have a Goblin Calamity and uh, you can just keep doing that for a few turns while you're working on your opponent's life total and you're building up your board and get ready for that fatal attack. Got a couple of Footlight Fiends. The only creature that can't be sacrificed is Skirk Prospector but it's another creature that can deal some direct damage. This one has to die, but still a good aggressive one drop that can trigger our Cavalcade of Calamity and get in for some damage. Rounding out, we got a play set of shocks for our removal. Uh, we just need one mana spells, and this does a good job of getting rid of early blockers. And uh, it can go to the face, and it could be doubled up by the Flame of Keld and do some serious damage. So, in our two drop slots, we got a play set of Goblin Instigator. Uh, it's just a efficient goblin creature that, you know, two 1-1 one, one goblins for two mana. Got the centerpiece namesake of the deck, Cavalcade of Calamity. Uh, it's a powerful enchantment. This, alongside Flame of Keld and just a bunch of one drops going wide, you can get in for a ton of damage out of nowhere. We got the playset of Flame of Keld because this deck needs uh, fuel. It needs fuel constantly to refill the hand and to give maximum damage output. So. The goal is to empty our hand as fast as possible and then play the Flame of Keld. Next turn, draw two cards. And then if we don't finish the game there, then hopefully on the following turn when all our damage is basically doubled. Uh, but it really just adds two to each damage. But uh, that's uh, pretty strong. And it can quite often be what it takes to close the game out. So in the three drop slot, we got a play set of Goblin Gathering makes two 1-1 one, one goblins for three mana. However, if you have more goblin gatherings in the graveyard, you can get more goblins for each for each other card named Goblin Gathering. Problem with that is, realistically, we're only going to have time to cast one copy of this in a game. So really, you're getting two 1-1 one, one goblins for three mana, which isn't the greatest rate. I would much rather have a Hoarderling Outburst like in the past. But we'll take it. we got to have these uh, goblin token generators. Got the playset of Light Ups the Stage and Skewer the Critics, so we got the full spectacle package. These are, of course, it's just uh, three damage for one mana is great damage output, and uh, we need to draw 
as many cards as possible for and one mana draw two is pretty great so rounding out with 20 basic mountains so this is zero rare goblin calamity Ooh, this hand looks pretty slow I guess we'll keep it though it's not terrible So I guess we go for the Calamity now. Oh, it got down. Get a couple triggers. Oh, wow, this is fun. Alright. that they block like that. Those are some aggressive blocks. Uh, go for attacks. Get a trigger. Knock it down to 14. We'll attempt our worst spell. Alright, it gets quenched. Interesting. So we get to light up the stage. Alright, we got a Prince Sweet Dodger for next turn, as well as, some, as well as an instigator. Alright. So oops. Let's see here. What order do we want to resolve these? I think we go for this one first. Okay. And the dodger. Oop. And the dodger. Um, I don't know if he has a flash creature, so we might as well give it unblockable. Just in case. Oh yeah, see, he's got something. He does have a flash creature. Given that to negative zero, okay. That doesn't stop the attack trigger. So we'll attack with these two. Get two. Okay. So we're gonna be able to. Uh, we want to finish that off. Yeah, let's go ahead and finish it off. Attempt this goblin instigator. Walk the plank. <laughs> walk the plank on our one line. Oh man. Double walk the plank. Dang. Okay. Firebrand off the top is nice. Get a couple triggers. I'll come down to seven. Favorable win. So that's okay. Three booter. Right, he's got one blocker. Uh, we might have this here. So I guess we can get him to one. I 
guess we just put them to one. Because then they have to have something to kill our creature before they attack. Which they don't. Alright, cool. Took down a uh, interesting blue black favorable winds deck. Uh, this is alright. I No one drop creature, but still, we got the shock and the instigator. And some. Skewer and a goblin gathering, so let's see how it goes. Ooh, mono red. Huh? Alright. I cannot play my card. Here we go. There we go. Take one, see what he plays. Nothing, huh? Okay. Shot him down. Too many lands. Can already tell. Play. Wow. Well, we're getting flooded. Yeah. Play a goblin gathering. That's the turn. Oh, he's blue red. Maybe he's maybe this is a uh, blue red wizard. He just needs a blue source to play, like those good old blue wizards. Let's see here. Let's take advantage of that. Light up the stage. Alright, that's what we're looking for. Get the dodger out. Uh, yeah, let's throw this too. Okay, so it's Drake's. That makes sense now. Oh wow, right on time. Get this guy unblockable. Drop the Calamity. Get a million triggers. There. Bam, bam, bam. And one to grow on. Well, we got to capitalize on our opponent being mana screwed, but still fun. Alright, this looks pretty cool. This could be really explosive. Oh wow, mirror match. Let's see what our opponent's playing with besides 10th Street Dodger. Alright, it gets in for one. Alright, this is a mirror match. Guess we just 
play this and pass the turn. Okay, he's playing with... He's cheating because he's playing with rares. <laughs> token and then sack it to kill the 10th street dodger okay kind of hurting on land here uh, let me shot down the war boss I guess I'll go in. And then light up the stage, hopefully getting a land here. Alright, two lands. That's not what I wanted, but one is fine. And I better save that skewer for another war boss or something like that. Oh, electrostatic field. That's the one that can block the uh, 10th Street. Alright, it's knocking us down to 13. What else we got? Oh, nothing. Okay, good. Alright, land number 4. I think we cavalcade. Getting some triggers here. He blocks one, of course. We could finish off that electrostatic, but no, I think. Oh, no, not this. I think we just gotta put out another instigator. We're going to shop now. Um, I think we take this if he has the, If he can kill us from here, then so be it. Okay. Uh, I think we might have the win right here. We'll see. So, cavalcade. Firebrand. Swing in. A million triggers. And we're going to get in with at least one guy, right? We'll see. I'm not sure. I didn't even do the math. Does it? Skew room to negative two. That was fun. I don't know if they were playing with cavalcade calamity or not, but that was sweet. Yeah, I think we'll keep this. I like having the 10th Street Dodger starting out with.
Lava runner again. Okay. Ooh, there's a flame at kill. Well, now 10th Street Dodger ain't looking so good. Ooh, just plays out the steam can, huh? Okay. That's interesting. Alright, play a dodger. Stage. Maybe he's just got a whole handful of steam can so he doesn't mind throwing one away. Alright, knocks us down to 18. Goes for the skewer to our face. Shocks down our goblin. Gets his lava runner pumped up. Guess I'll go for the dodger. And the calamity. Hit him for a couple. Damn, down to 13. He's got a lot of mana too. Oh wow, lava claw. Okay. It's almost empty handed though. Play our goblin gathering. See what he has now. Wow. His draw is not very good against us. I think we just take this because I want to make sure he doesn't play some other better creature. Let's see what his last card is if he plays it. He's tanking. Okay, it's a light at the stage. All right, so no more creatures. Is he gonna lightning strike down my one one? Nope. All right, so we'll take out this lava runner. My opponent's thinking about burning that lightning strike right now. Nope, it's not. Oh, that sucks. Draw on the second flame I killed there wasn't great. He's thinking about the attacks, huh? I guess I should have attacked first, actually. That was a mistake. Alright, knock it around to 15. Let's see if he throws his lightning strike in my face. Yep. Alright. He's top decking. Oh, wow, that was a good top deck. Oh, nothing but land. Good for me. That's brutal. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's all pretty good.
hit him for three. And we'll save our skewer for double damage next turn. Or not double damage, but plus two damage. It feels like double damage though. Especially with these tokens. Oh, rekindling things. Wow. Wow. Here we go. One goblin token is gonna do it. Triggers. Down to three. <laughs> That's gonna kill the Phoenix. <laughs> and spectacle for negative two. Sweet. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, this is pretty good. Get to go first, that's nice. Get in for one with a dodger. Okay. I don't think there's any flash creatures in black for one, so... We'll get in for one and just play uh, Goblin Instigator. Walking course. All right. Give this guy unblockable. I think I'm just going to go in with the dodger. And we'll light up the stage. Wow. At least we're not drawing land. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, put light. Stitch supply. Cool. So he's called Gary. Now we drew another footlight. Okay. Unblockable. I think we'll go in now. Two lands and another Stitcher Supplier. Get our foot light. And a skater down. Now we just need a pump spell. Of some sort. Flame of Keld would be nice. Plague Crafter. I guess I'll sacrifice this guy. Alright. Unblockable. Get in. Chipping them all down. We keep drawing token generators. That's the turn. Chupacabra. Probably going to take out our 10th Street Jogger. Yep.
Firebrand. Get in. The nine. Guess we'll go ahead and take out the plague crafter. But we never drew anything that'll give us some more gas here. So this may. We may not get there on this one. Yeah. This guy doesn't have trample, does he? Okay, no, it's just a six. All right. Yeah, we're in trouble. At least he hasn't gained any life. We're going to need like a flame of killed or something to give us a chance here, I think. He's not going to do it. Cool deck, though. See what we draw though. Huh. This is a cool deck I've seen. The only rare I've seen is uh, Thousand Eyed. I'm gonna try that deck sometime. All right, yeah, let's keep this. Firebrand first. Get in there. Oh, Cynic Mortal. Play the prospector. Again for one. River Snake, hopefully he doesn't have another one drop. Nice combo. Uh, 
Uh, no attacks. this out. Uh, I think we just... I think we just pop a goblin here. Play the flame of kill. I think we still don't attack. Just take it. Pass. Alright, what do we got? Oh, a bunch of firebrands, huh? Uh, let's take this out. Give us unblockable. Get in. Play a couple guys. And end of the turn. So we got double damage coming up next turn. See what happens. Deep rewater is okay. Sure. Alright. Double damage turn. Oh man, we draw land. Unblockable here. So we can kill their whole board. these two guys back. We can bring him down to two. I have a spell in my hand.
Anything that deals damage. Come on. That will do it. Unblockable. Anyways, they're going to be dead before... Before blocks. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed Goblin Calamity, Zero Rare, and Ravnica Allegiance Standard. So, War of the Spark is coming up soon. I'm going to do a follow-up video on this eventually because of this card right here. We're getting a new toy that could potentially go in the deck. Heartfire. So, it's a two-mana instant. Additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a creature or a planeswalker. And it deals four damage to any target. So, four damage burn spell for two mana at instant speed that requires a sacrifice so so again in the themes with this deck I don't know exactly how we slot it in and how many we'll use maybe two to three copies uh, but that makes me want to play more of a foot more of foot like fiend because we can sack it you know and get the get five damage basically so I look forward to trying that out and seeing how good it is so again I hope you enjoyed this deck uh, yeah, it costs no rares to make, and it's a lot of fun. It's a blast to just burn your opponent for a ton of triggers out of nowhere. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's sling some jank.